Hi, Eduardo. Good afternoon. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Hi, Eduardo. Hi. Hi, good to see you again. Ready Thank for the class? You. Me too. <laughs> That's cool. Very nice. What were you doing? Uh, well, I, I, uh, I am uh, working in the plat platform. Working in the platform. Okay. Have you had any problems? No, I don't. Oh, okay, very good. Nice. I finished the, the, the middle, middle? Uh -huh, the midterm. Midterm. Yeah, the midterm. Excellent. Very good. Very nice. This morning Ready. I finished. Very cool. Ready to start uh, the section four, right? Section four, yeah. Excellent. Very good. That's very, very nice. Did you have lunch? Did you already yeah. have lunch? Yeah. Oh, I did it. Okay. <laughs> pizza. You're, you're so lucky. Oh, pizza. Okay. Uh, did you buy it in your office or you call for delivery? Or oh, you went to? No, no, no. My, my wife buy it. Buy it. No, Bought? buy both mm -hmm. uh, last uh, um, Sunday. Last Sunday? Oh. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> so you it's had the, them in the refrigerator. Yeah. It's okay. okay. Yeah, but it's in, nice. this, in this place, we have uh, uh, microwaves. Uh, oh, okay. And the other is, uh, what is the other? Ele the electric? Hey, which one? The microwave, the oven, no? Or the Toaster. Uh-huh, an oven, oven. Poster, oven. Oven, okay. uh-huh, ah, okay, very nice. Ah, so you have a lot of machines for cooking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very, you know, very good. Very you know, I prefer, I sometimes prefer like, for example, pollo campero, in my personal uh -huh. opinion. <laughs> I prefer pollo campero, uh, but no, no maybe for the day, but for the next day when it's cold, uh -huh. I like it uh -huh. very much. <laughs> uh, yeah. Cold. Cold, yeah. Yeah, yeah, cold. I don't like uh, very hot food. Yeah. No, I don't like that. Okay. No. That was, and what is your favorite pizza, kind of pizza? Uh, <laughs> all pizza is all pizza. Oh, pizza. Okay. Pizza Hut, El Rosal, Boom, La Italia, okay. in, Italia, La Italia in Santa Teresa. Have you? Have you ever have you ever eaten a Charlie Boy pizza? I don't remember. Okay, if, if you live in Santa Tecla, right? Yes. Okay, the, there there are different places where you can buy this uh, pizza, but specifically in Plaza Merlio, there is one uh, like a, a place where you can buy this. Or if you want to enjoy a little bit more with your wife, you can go up in the in the Boquerón. Right? Ah. Uh huh. It's near a picnic. Uh, yeah, and you are going near. to see on your on your right. You were gonna right. see a, a. It's a house, two floors house in oh. front of the you know the view, beautiful, nice view, and the the environment is really nice, and the pizzas are really delicious. Okay. I had the opportunity to visit the restaurant like about maybe a month ago, but. Only for with one, you have to order only one, okay? Yeah, because they are huge, they are yeah. huge. There are about like nine dollars, but with one, three people can eat. You know, it was okay. it was very delicious. You can go to okay. that place, and the and the, the 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 flavors are very diverse. There are not just okay. like cheese, but you have different. You know, they are very delicious. Okay. I, I know you like pizza, so you can try, right? Thank Carlita Yanes, hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. How are you, Koloshita Yanes? <laughs> Today you are very curly, Carlita. Yes, I am curly. Yeah, yeah, very curly, but I see very, uh, your hair more curly. <laughs> Okay. Yes. Nice. Yes. Nice. It's, it's you know, I, I, I would like I would like to have curly hair. Yes. <laughs> In my hair but, is straight. Uh huh. But I change hair curly for for hair straight. Um, a strain. No way, Two really. Years. So we can change. <laughs> two years. Two years. Wow. Only two years. 
What do you prefer? Uh, curly. Cur ah, you see? Uh -huh. I like sí, curly. El mío es más fácil. <laughs> yeah, the natural. other one, natural. Uh -huh. natural. Yeah. natural. Con el otro no me acostumbraba. No, uh -huh. if all your life is like me, for example, if I make curls, you know, colochos, if I make curls, people are like, oh, what is it? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> okay, because it's different. But in my case, I made the curls and they are like, just like, que me duran 30 minutos, 30 minutes the most. My oh. hair is very straight, very, very straight. Mm -hmm. That's okay. it. Eduardo's hair is very straight too, right? In yeah. short, uh huh. In short, okay, very nice. Carlita, did you have already lunch? No, no yet. Oh yes. Yes, teacher. Oh, yes. Really? Now oh. yes. Wow, so <laughs> nice. Well, I'm very happy for that because the because topic is a little bit about food. <laughs> teacher, because the food is. Uh, uh -huh. Is easy. Uh huh. The prepare easy. What did you eat? Pizza too. No. No. Chilaquiles. Oh, chilaquiles! I Delicious. Chilaquiles. Very nice. I like chilaquiles too. E Eduardo ate um pizza. Mm -hmm. So Italia. Oh. Yeah, from Italy. And Carlita from uh, Mexico, right, Carlita? Okay. Come my house. <laughs> I'm going my to eat, yeah, I'm going to eat the Salvadorian style. I have for today a pollo en cebollado. <laughs> okay. In the, in the, in the, in the new, the new style there. Okay, guys, we are going to start, okay, with the topic for today. Okay. And, um, what we are going to start uh, the section number four with the, the, the unique, okay, I've never heard of that. I've never heard of that. This is like, nunca escuchado de eso, right? I have, if you, want, you don't want to say I've never, you say I have never, okay? I have never heard of that, okay? And I'm going to present, okay, uh, exotic food. Okay, if you, if you know, I don't know if you have been to uh, Huayua o Ataco in the gastronomic festival. Yes. Yes? Uh -huh. Yes. There are different kind of food there, right? Exotic. Exotic food. Uh, for Fro example, uh, frog. you remember? Frogs. Frog, uh -huh. frog legs. Frog legs, uh. Uh -huh. legs and piernas, right? Yeah. Frog legs. Uh, oh, have you ever eaten, uh, Eduardo? Oh, frog never. legs. I never. 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 Uh -huh. no, this is my, my brain. My brain don't permit. Block. <laughs> <laughs> Your brain gets like, oh, uh oh, yeah. no, Eduardo, don't continue eating. Okay, no. that's it. And you, Carlita, have you ever eaten exotic uh, food? <laughs> Uh, no teacher. Never. For example, no. what about uh, one that is very exotic in El Salvador is uh, Cusuco, no? No. No? Armadillo? I, pro I proved in the past a little, a little bit, but... Ah, so like, I try, try. I tried. I tried. Uh -huh. it's, oh, it's eh, only la colita, ¿verdad? <laughs> no, it's, eh, estaba servido y me dieron un pedacito. Ah, ¿sabes? okay. What? Well, eh, no, no, really? In, in, in Alhuaste? No, it's a in, in tomato juice. Ah, ah, in sauce, sauce, sauce. tomato sauce. Oh, tomatoes. really? Uh, oh my tomatoes. God! Uh huh. Oh gosh, that was like kind of yeah, like chicken, right? Yeah. What about I, I, what about rabbit? No. No, I don't. No. Oh, okay, you're not but, very you're not uh, very yes. exotic. Uh -huh. No, teacher. But, I'm I'm eat rabbit. I have eaten. I yes. Think. Rabbit. Yes. Oh, it, it, tell me, is it delicious or it's similar oh. to fish? Similar to know. chicken. Similar to chicken. To I, chicken. Uh -huh. I ate uh, rabbit in the house of my friends. Oh, really? Here in El Salvador? Yes. Oh yes. Oh, my God. Very exotic. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, with rice and salad, normal, like you eat chicken. Uh-huh. Oh, sí. my God. Okay, okay. Well, at least we have you that you have eaten rabbit. 
And uh, because the topic for today is about that, okay? We are going to study the present perfect. So uh, we are going to see, okay, kind of food, right? Here we have ethnic dishes or unusual food, okay? Unusual food. We have, for example, the number one, this is not, this is common in El Salvador nowadays, but it's not the typical food that we have in El Salvador. Eduardo, read the first part, please. Let's read the first part, sushi. We, we don't listen. Okay, I, I'm I don't sorry. Listen. Okay, can you listen to me now? Mm, not, not yet. Okay, let me check. No. Let me check, let me check. Okay, what about now? Can you listen no. to me? Yes. Now? Right now. Right now, it's okay? Can you listen? But it's, it's, in, it's an intermittent. Interrupted. Ah, okay. Let me, let me, let me check the, the router, okay? okay. I have a, 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 right now, internet connection problems. Let me check. What about now? Can you listen? Now it's okay. Now? Okay, very good. Yeah, I had a problem with the router because the internet was very, very uh, slow. Okay, hey, where is Carlita? She, she went away. <laughs> where is? Yeah, where is she? Yeah, maybe she got like disconnected for the internet. Okay, that's it. Okay, so Claribel is here. Okay, Jose Garcia is here. Hi, Jose, Claribel. Welcome to the class. Okay. Okay, Eduardo, can you please read about sushi? Uh huh. Read the uh, information, rice, please. Uh, rice balls mixed mixed with vinegar. Vinegar. And vinegar and combined with various toppings or fillings. Fillings like, like meat, meat. Mm -hmm. meat, vegetables. Mm -hmm. Uh, mushrooms or eggs or eggs okay we're gonna check the pronunciation please uh, rice balls mixed with vinegar vinegar and vinegar. combined combined with various oh. toppings or fillings okay like meat vegetables vegetables vegetables, vegetables. uh-huh mushrooms or eggs okay this is the first unusual food a uh, claribel do you like sushi i don't like ah you don't like sushi jose garcia what about jose do you like sushi i remember yes, jose I say, yeah how often do you eat sushi hmm. no 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 it's more more less of mm. not very often not very often. Ah, very okay, easy. not very often. Surprise. Okay, Surprise. but you eat, but you eat sushi, right? Uh huh. And uh, Eduardo, do you like sushi? Yeah, it's my favorite food. No way, really. Your favorite yeah. food? Oh. Yeah. But I, I like no rolls. Uh, the other sashimi and nigiris. Ah, okay, the other way. Uh huh. Yeah, because the there way, are different but... kinds, right? Okay, this is the first one I have for you, uh, ethnic dishes, right? Oh, and dish, uh, uh, unusual, right? Okay, and this unusual food, okay? Here, uh, I have a, a little conversation, okay? I'm gonna present this conversation later on. Okay, we're gonna check the vocabulary right now. Uh, snails, okay, they are the snails. I don't know if you like the snails. Uh -huh. They are los, los, uh, this is, uh, they are animals. Ah, animals. ah it's caracol. Caracol. <laughs> Do you remember, uh, I don't know if you have eaten in your life, no? Have you in ever ceviche. eaten in ceviche? Ah, okay. Jose, have you ever eaten snails? Snails is concha. No, no. Uh, shells is concha. This is uh, caracoles. Caracol. Ah, yes, yes. Yes. Are they delicious? Yes. 
Really? Yes. Oh my God. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my God. Uh, you have to tell me uh, the name of a good restaurant where I can eat this kind of food. I have never tried the, the snails. Okay, then we have garlic. Okay, you know garlic. Uh, when we have garlic bread, okay, for example, appetizer. This is an entradita, right? The appetizer. That's an aperitivo. Okay. And then we have brain, right? Ah, okay. <laughs> Remember, this topic is about food, but very unusual, okay? Brain. brain. Uh -huh. Claribel, have you ever eaten brain? I, I know ever. <laughs> you have never. <laughs> Eduardo, Eduardo, have you ever eaten brain? Yeah, I, 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 I did. <laughs> no way, really. Oh gosh, in the picture looks like uh, gross. Okay, no. a little bit. Uh -huh. Okay, we're gonna check then the, 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 the stuff here, okay, related to the vocabulary because I'm gonna present, okay, the conversation for you. And the conversation is about, you know, being in a restaurant. That's it. This is the conversation that we have. Okay, uh, about garlic, you know, snails because we are gonna practice this is a review have you ever okay have you ever asked alguna have vez you, uh -huh. have you ever okay have you ever eaten as alguna vez comido okay let's listen to the conversation hey. unit four i've never heard of that page 22 exercise two conversation have you ever part a Listen and practice. Hey, this sounds strange. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes. I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Okay. Oh, my God. I prefer the snails, but not the fried brain. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Or pata de pollo frita, right? There are people that eat that. Fry fried chicken legs okay that's it let's try once again and i will ask for two volunteers to model the conversation unit four i've never heard of that page 22 exercise two conversation have you ever part a listen and practice Hey, this sounds strange. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes. I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Okay, it sounds scary and for real, very, very scary. Okay, Jose, uh, you're going to be Steve, okay? And Carlita Yanes, you're going to be Kathy, okay? Okay. Yeah. That's it. Let's start. Okay. Hey, this one is strange. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I have them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on a pedicer yet? Appetizer. Appetizer yet? Scary. You continue, scary, Katy. Uh, yes, I have a oh, small order. Excuse me, excuse me. The, the, the server, Eduardo, try the server, please. Yeah, there are three people. No, okay. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. 
Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Kathy. Yes. I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. It sounds scary. Okay. Okay, very good. Very scary. <laughs> I prefer kusuko, <laughs> but not the fried brain. Okay, far B. Let's see. Listen to the rest of the conversation. And how did Steve like the fried brains? Did he like them or he refused them? Okay, and the second question. What else did he order? Listen to the rest of the conversation and tell me what else he ordered, okay? Page 22, exercise two, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. How did Steve like the fried brains? What else did he order? Oh, good. Here comes our server now. Here are your snails. And for you, sir, the fried brains. Thank you. Mmm, these snails are delicious. How are the brains? Well, I think they're... Yuck. Oh, sorry. I guess brains are too strange for me. Um, I think I'm going to order something else, if you don't mind. Oh, sure. Go ahead. Excuse me. Yes? Um, I really don't care for this appetizer. Could you bring me something else? Yes, of course. What would you like instead? Try the snails. No, I don't think so. I'll tell you what. Just forget an appetizer for me and bring me a nice, juicy hamburger with french fries and a large soda. Okay, second time, and then we check the answers together. Page 22, exercise 2, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. How did Steve like the fried brains? What else did he order? Oh, good. Here comes our server now. Here are your snails. And for you, sir, the fried brains. Thank you. Mmm, these snails are delicious. How are the brains? Well, I think they're... Yuck. Oh, sorry. I guess brains are too strange for me. Um, I think I'm going to order something else, if you don't mind. Oh, sure. Go ahead. Excuse me. Yes? Um, I really don't care for this appetizer. Could you bring me something else? Yes, of course. What would you like instead? Try the snails. No, I don't think so. I'll tell you what. Just forget an appetizer for me and bring me a nice, juicy hamburger with french fries and a large soda. Okay. This is like we say in Spanish, Salvadorian Spanish. Mejor lo viejo conocido, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, how did he, uh, did Steve like the fried brains? Did he like the fried brains? What do you no. think? No. No. Uh -huh. He refused them, right? And yes. uh, what else did he order as an appetizer? Hamburger. As an appetizer? Is nails? Um, no. As, a, as an appetizer? No. He didn't order the snails. What did he order as an appetizer? Let's see. Oh, I, I understand. I understand. Huh? Mm -hmm. uh, he he ordered a hamburger with fry, French fries. French fries. Aha, uh -huh, but as an appetizer? 
French brand. Mm -hmm. No, well, uh, he didn't order anything as an appetizer. He said, no, you know, no, don't worry about the appetizer. Just bring uh -huh. me the hamburger and the French fries. Uh-huh. That's it. Large soda. The, in a large soda. Okay, very good. But he didn't order the appetizer. Okay, mm -hmm. that's it. Uh, in this case, he didn't order the appetizer, but for the main dish, he ordered the hamburger, very juicy, right? Um, plus the French fries and a large soda. Okay, very good. Then we have, you know, this is a topic that we started uh, with the guys, uh, well, with uh, maybe Eduard was not here. Jose, creo que se ya estaba acá, right? With Jose, we practice about the uh, present perfect. This is a review that we are going to have, okay? Related to the, the present perfect, okay? Here, uh, I have here uh, ex an explanation, right, for when you're gonna use the present perfect. It says, uh, use the simple past for completed events at a determined time. Use uh, the present perfect for events within a time period up to the present. So the present perfect is when you say in English, for example, yo he, ella, ella, yo he comido, yo he ido, yo he bebido, yo he estado, okay, Carla ha hecho, Carla ha venido, Carla ha bebido, etc., etc., okay? This is the present perfect, an action or an event within a period of time up to the present. She did it in the past, but that event eh, is occurring into the present and may occur to the future. This is the present perfect here. For example, the question when you want to ask for an experience, have you ever... Usted le pregunta la experiencia a alguien y le dice, mira, Evo, ya has comido, ¿eh? Have you ever? And the verb, guys, has to be in the present, eh, in the past participle, sorry. Past participle, eaten, present, eat, past tense, ate, past participle, eaten. ver, sí, present, vio, so, visto, sin. Okay, other one, eh, beber, drink, bebí, drunk, bebido, drunk, okay, with you, ido, ir, fui, go, ir, fui, went, ido, gone, okay, this is a list of, uh, of verbs in past participle that we have to uh, we have to know, okay, by heart, uh, because they are the, the main ingredient for this kind of questions that we're going to study. Uh, some months ago, I gave a list to the guys, okay? I am going to resend the list to the WhatsApp group so uh, you can have an idea, okay? And if you don't know the verbs like that, well, you can refresh your memory and try to memorize them, okay? For example, have you ever eaten snails? Ya has comido, eh? ya has comido caracoles? Yes, I have. Ahora ya no digo, yes, I did, yes, I do, yes, I am, no. Okay, it says, have you ever eaten? Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. Sí, lo he hecho, okay? When you mention Yes, I have. After, you have to use simple past to give extra information of your experience. For example, Jose Garcia, have you ever, have you ever played, um, let me see, naipes? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Okay. The, the answer from Jose was positive. So I want Jose to give me extra information. And for extra information, you need to use past simple. For example, I, have you ever played a naipes, Jose? Yes, I have. Uh, I, I, I played naipes when I was 
um, more young. Younger. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Now, extra extra information. Did you did you like playing naipes when you were younger? Yes, yes, I did. Exactly. Uh -huh. The extra questions are with simple past. So the answer, did you, did you, has to be like, yes, I did, no, I didn't. Yes, I did, no, I didn't. Okay, that's it. This is the experience. Other experience, for example, Wendy. Can I ask you for an experience, Wendy? Yeah. Okay, Wendy. Wendy, have you ever uh, traveled to Guatemala? Uh, yes, I have. Uh, yeah. When I was 13 years old, I think. Oh, okay. Uh, Where my did... dad, uh -huh. my dad was a uh, pastor. Okay. And they had, he had an invitation. To so, Guatemala. Mm -hmm. Yes. Extra information. Guatemala. Extra yes. information. How many days did you stay in Guatemala? Just one day. Oh, yes, one day. Okay. Did yes. you like the place? Um, not too much because we were in a very strange place. Oh. Very quiet and alone. I don't know. I it was like a, it was not it was not for pleasure, right? No. Ah, okay. No. I understand. Okay, very good. That was the experience. Okay, the experience. Carlita Yanes, let me ask a, ask you for an experience in your life. Okay. Okay. Carlita, have you ever drunk chicha? No. Ah, okay. No, so the experience I... is I haven't haven't uh -huh. that's it okay have you ever so when the answer is negative obviously we cannot continue asking for extra information right that's it so the answer is negative no worry other other question for you carlita have you ever uh for example have you ever eaten rabbit uh, yes i have i i eaten rabbit I, okay Extra information, Carlita, is not uh, eaten, it's past tense. I ate. I ate rabbit uh -huh. Uh -huh. in the house of my friend Sara. Oh, okay, very good. Did you like the rabbit? Yes, yes, I did. I did, very good, excellent, okay? That's it. The question is, have you ever, because it's experience. The answer, yes, I have, no, I haven't. If the answer is positive, then we continue with extra information in simple past. Okay, let's continue. Eduardo, now this is for you. Eduardo, have you ever been to the United States? Been. Uh-huh, have you ever been to the United States? Have you ever traveled? Have you ever flown to the United States? Been, uh, okay. Um, yes, I have. Okay, now give me extra information, please. The, the, the last year, mm -hmm. my wife visit, visited. Uh -huh, visited. Visited. Uh, New York. New York. Very good. Okay. More extra information. How many days did you stay in New York? Uh, five or six uh, days. Okay. Very good. Did you did you buy souvenirs? Souvenirs? Uh, no, but we buy we, we both, both. Uh huh. We uh, both clothes. Clothes. Ah, okay. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. Claribel, this is for you. No, I go. Claribel? We, we both. Uh huh. We both. Cross. Cross. Uh huh. We both clothes. Uh huh. Very good. Uh huh. Very good. Excellent. That's it. The experience. The experience is have you ever. Extra information, simple past. Okay. Claribel, this is for you. No, I go. No. No, no se escucha, teacher. No se escucha. Hello, hello. Can you listen? Hello, hello. No. 
no. Se oye intermitente. Ah, ok. Let me check. Let me check. Give me a second. Le está robando internet el vecino. No, no, José. Can you hear me now, guys? Yes. Yes, okay, that's it. Yes. Very nice, okay. I had to restart the router, okay? I'm so sorry for the, for the minutes of delay, okay? So, uh, Claribel, are you there, ready for your, uh, for your example? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Okay, Claribel, have you ever, have you ever broken one part of your body? No, I haven't. Ah, okay. Other question. Have you ever found money on the street? Have you ever? Have you ever found money on the street? Um, no, I haven't, teacher. No, never, Claribel. Never. When you were a kid, when you were a teenager, no, never? No. Oh never, never. Oh, this is so common. <laughs> okay. Have you ever, have you ever, uh, let me see. Have you ever eaten, um, let me see. No. Have you ever made, have you ever made tortillas? Oh, yes, I have. Ah, oh, okay. Very good. Now, uh, give me extra information, please. I, I, I then I I made excellent. I made I made then last uh last uh, last weekend. Last weekend. Okay, very oh, good. Yeah. How many tortillas did you make? Uh I many one one uh one among uh -huh. No, how many tortillas did you make in total? How many? 20 oh, tortillas, 10 tortillas? Uh, 20, 25. Oh, 25, okay. I have a question. Okay. Did you sell the tortillas? Uh-huh. Did you sell? Did you sell oh. the tortillas? Did you oh, eat? yes, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Did you eat it? Uh, <laughs> oh, okay, for business. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, that's nice. This is extra huh? when you ask for extra information. Okay, other, other, other uh, answer here. Jose, can you read the other question, please, and the other example? Is Jose there? No? Okay. Eduardo, when, then uh, read the example, please. Have you ever danced? Have you? Have you ever danced flamenco? Mm -hmm. No, I haven't. But I danced tango last night uh, at my cousin party. Cousin's mm -hmm. party. Cousin's party. Continue. Did you dance with your husband? No, I danced with my cousin. With my cousin. Okay, very good. This is when the answer is negative and you want to give extra information about other information other kind of activity or event, you can do it, okay? For example, uh, have you ever found, for example, Claribel said, have you ever found money on the street? No, teacher, I haven't, but I, um, I found one cell phone near my house, okay? No money, but you found an object in this case, okay? That's it. So this is, okay, what we have present, uh, present perfect. The third example, Carlita Yanes, can you please read the third example? Okay. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? Mm -hmm. 
No, I haven't. But I ate at the Mexican restaurant yesterday. Mm -hmm. Did you go alone? No, I went with some friends. With some friends. Excellent. Very good. This is experiences. Have you ever been? Have you ever danced? Have you ever eaten? Etc. Etc. Okay. A Vietnamese restaurant very good okay we're gonna continue asking okay i want to ask for your participation and we are gonna complete this conversation right number one let's start with the number one uh, i need a volunteer okay somebody wants to have you ever and you have to use the verb in parenthesis okay that's it Bing. Let's start. Uh -huh. Okay, number have one, you, Carlita, read the number one, no, please, the conversation. Have you one. Ever, number one, have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? Continue. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Uh, we, we cooked uh -huh. hamburgers. Excellent. We cooked hamburgers. That means in simple past, okay? We cooked Hamburgers, okay, very good. Number two, other volunteer, please. Extra points. Ice cream for you. <laughs> okay, one volunteer. Thank you, Claribel. No. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, Claribel, go ahead. Are you ever... Mm -hmm. Try sushi. Excellent. No, I haven't, but I like to. Okay, very good. No, I haven't, but I like to. This is pero me encantaría, okay? That's it. For example, um, if I ask, for example, Eduardo, have you ever uh, eaten in a Peruvian restaurant? Yes. In, in the uh, Zona Rosa. In Zona Rosa, okay. Inca, Inca Grill. I Inca think. Grill, ah, okay, very good. Uh, when did you eat? When? Mm -hmm. uh, when did you years. eat? Many years ago. Uh -huh. Many years ago, I okay. don't remember. The, the, you don't the, remember, okay, yeah. very good. That's it, so this is the experience and the simple past. What about okay. the number three? Aha, uh -huh. the number three. Look at the number three. What is the difference between the number one and the number two? Uh, sorry, what is the difference between the number one and the number three? Or the number two and the number three? In the number three, you start the question with did. Okay, because this question is in the past. Este es como, desayunaste hoy. Y miren el de arriba. Haz alguna vez. Okay. So the number one and the number two is an experienced. But the number three, it's only an activity that happened in the past. Today viene siendo como ahora en la mañana. Okay. Porque ya pasó el desayuno. So, what is the answer for the number three? And I have a volunteer for the number three. Did you have? Excellent. Carlita, continue. Did you have breakfast today? What is the answer? Yes. Yes. Yes, I have. Yes, I Okay. Yes, I Yes, yes, I did. Uh -huh. I ate a ush breakfast. Ush. Esa es una ush de Huge. Huge, huge, huge breakfast. Huge breakfast. I ate a huge, huge, huge breakfast. Breakfast. Very good. Uh -huh. Did you have breakfast today? Yes, I did. I ate a huge breakfast. Okay, very good. Number four, Wendy, this is an experience. Okay. Uh, have you ever... Eaten Mexican food. Mm -hmm. Continue. Yes, I have. In fact, I ate some just last week. Excellent. Very good. In fact, I ate some just last week. Very, very good. 
Number five. Number five is similar to the number three. It's an event in the past. So you don't use present perfect. Okay. Is Jose here? Are you here, Jose? Mm, I think he's not here because the microphone is mute. Okay. Other volunteer for the number five? The, the very same pass, okay? If, you, the, the, if the question, if the question, in a question, Eduardo, the verb is in present. Only in the answer, the verb is in past, okay? Okay. Go did ahead. You, drink. Did mm -hmm. you drink coffee? Did you drink coffee? Very good. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I? Past tense so of have? Had. Had, uh-huh, I? I had, I had drink some on no. my way. I had? I had, I had some on my way. Some on my way. To work. Work. Exactly, to work. okay? Ve, tomé algo de café en camino al trabajo, right? Did you drink coffee this morning? Yes, I did. I had, o si quieren pongan I drank, no problem, some coffee on my way to work, okay? That's it. That is the the, 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 the the question, right? When you use this, it's because it's an activity in the past, an event in the past. But if you use have you ever, it's because it's an experience, okay? So this is the experience that we're gonna use. This is the part that we are going to practice uh, today, guys. I want you to use um, a, your, uh, your, 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 your vocabulary, I'm gonna take a picture of this one because I'm gonna send the picture to the WhatsApp group, okay? Right now, what I want you to do is to practice this conversation, these uh, questions with your partners, right? Have you ever been on a diet? Have you ever danced bachata? Okay, remember, if the experience is positive, you say, yes, I have, and then you give extra information. If the answer is negative, well, that's it. No more extra information. For example, uh, for example, Caribel, have you ever danced cumbias? Yes, I have. Good. So, uh, extra information. Ahí le pregunta, right? What cumbia did you dance? I danced. I no, no sé. La de Marito Rivera. <laughs> I dance la bala. Okay, this is what oh, you're yeah. gonna ah, you see. This is what you're gonna practice. Okay, accept the invitation. You will go to the breakout rooms and let's practice. Hello. Hello. Gracias. 